All I know, he had never talked to me. Dylan told me that he thought it was important that we make an announcement. I know, but I mean, my God, I only got your report last weekend. Did, did the trip ever know that we were about to go ahead on this thing? Uh, I don't know. I assume that Dylan... Were there any conversations with Trip on this? Not, not with me. He never talked to me, and he talked to Dylan. Dylan had a conversation with him. Well, I think it's very. I think it's very peculiar that he would announce that today at a time when he knew that the government was about to go ahead. Uh, Hallaby, Hallaby urged him not to. Told me that he had had uh, two or three conversations with him. Have some kind yeah, but I mean, my God, we've been uh, this. Your group has looked at it for a couple of months. We get this thing last weekend. I don't understand why Trip feels he has to go ahead just when we're about to do something about it. This makes it, I think we have to take it along now. It's rather stupid of us to be putting it out tomorrow if he's already buying a European plane. It will make it look as if we don't know as if, uh, what the hell our market is. Fine. Okay, well, I'll see you at five then. Is he, so. on, the, is he on the wire with it? Yeah, he's put it out. Yeah, he's, he's buying. Pan American World announced it has ordered six new Concorde supersonic jet transport, which can fly to the United States in two and a half hours. He made the announcement. Be equipped with it. We've jointly. Now, that's very peculiar. Uh, for him to do that at a time when he knew we were about to do it. Well, that doesn't mean he has to do it. Didn't he know we were about to put it out here? Yes, he did. Well, this is, is this deliberate? I can't tell. Well, you can tell him he's given me the best argument for not having one airline represent the United States that I've ever heard. And I'm going to spend the next time I'm here really giving a screwing to Pan American because that, gives, that sticks it right to us. How can we possibly go ahead now with our program, to which we're going to spend an awful lot of money, which was very important to the United States, which affected the balance of payments in hundreds of millions of dollars, and I'm going to put all this out, and then go ahead about 24 hours before we're about to make our announcement. Yes. Did Matt, didn't you have an understanding with him yes. that he would wait? Yes, sir. Well, now, will you give him this message from me and make it very clear that I think he ought to retract that, and he ought to wait now and see what the United States is going to do, or otherwise it's going to be very clear that Pan Am is contributing in a significant way to the United States being in a secondary position in the air and also to our balance of payment problem. And I'll, we'll give him all the trouble he wants because there isn't going to be anything that's going to make me more excited than doing that. All right. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Yes, Mr. Uh, did you see what uh, Juan Tripp did? No, I did not. He put out an announcement this afternoon that he's going to buy six planes from the British and the French. How could he do that when he knew we were about to go ahead? Oh. Uh, I don't know. He, he said that apparently to Hallaby, I haven't talked to him recently, that he was under pressure from the British and French governments to... Well, what kind of pressure? Because the goddamn plane isn't going to be ready in six years, and here the United States government's about to go into a major program. And where does that leave us? I mean, didn't we have any understanding with him that he wouldn't go ahead while we were trying to come up with our proposal? I don't think there was any... Uh, did anybody tell him that didn't... Uh, I think Hallaby did tell him. Hallaby... Did you have any talks with him? Day. I only had that one that I sent a memorandum to. It was over about a week ago, and I haven't talked with him since then. Uh, well, I think you ought to call him up, Doug, and say that we're goddamn sore about this. He knew the United States. My God, I had it in my speech for tomorrow. Yeah. We're about to announce a program. I mean, everybody worked this weekend. I only got the vice president's report on Friday or Saturday. Right. And we, I talked to McNamara on Sunday. They worked yesterday. We're putting it in a speech for tomorrow. And for him to go ahead on Tuesday afternoon, which involves hundreds of millions of dollars of balance of payments, which is going to sabotage a program to put the United States up in the lead in the 70s, it's very difficult for us to go ahead if he's buying. I think he ought to retract that thing until oh. he sees what sort of an offer we've got. Oh, he isn't going to buy these planes. Well, now, wait a minute. You see, here's the AP story. Yeah. Pan American World Airways announced today it has ordered six new Concorde supersonic jet transports. Right. Well, I mean, Christ, he's buying them. No, he isn't going to buy them. I saw the contract, and... Uh, well, I think he ought to put out a statement that he's not buying them. He has them. an option to buy them. Well, except, you uh, see, that isn't the way the announcement well, reads. I see the announcement reads differently, but I read the contract which you showed to me a week ago, and he has... Well, he be, why don't they... Put, you he better has the right to pull out for a million and a half dollars. Uh, well, they better put out a statement, because otherwise, for me to go now ahead and announce our program is going to look awfully foolish. He ought to make a, an announcement that, you know, that they've made no decision on buying the plane. They merely purchased an option. Why they felt they had to purchase an option, I don't know, at this point. I mean, Christ, if we're going to go ahead, the French and the British aren't in such a strong position. I mean, he, he, he threw a million and a half bucks down the drain, because... I think he has. Because yeah, when we do our our thing, but then what the hell does he need an option? They're going to be around, everybody's going to be around competing to sell them. That's 
right. Now, but the only thing is, he's made it very difficult for us now to go ahead and announce our program. It looks like, uh, uh, and, and the fact is, he knew this was coming up. Halaby told him two or three times. He's given me the best argument for not having one airline and making it Pan Am that I've ever heard. Yeah, I don't know why he did it. He's so indifferent to what the United States government is doing. I think, Doug, you ought to call him and stick it right up his ass. I want him to eat that today because otherwise we can't possibly go ahead. Why don't I call Halaby and find out? Well, I got Halaby. Halaby's in his office. But I think you ought to just say that we think that this is a deliberate thing to beat us when we're about to announce a program. It ensures hundreds of millions of balance of payment loss, and it ensures that there's no sense in the United States government going ahead with a program that would give us the lead in the 70s, and that this looks to the president as a deliberate act. And I'm really going to, we're going to spend our time screwing Pan Am. So why don't you give him some of that, see well, if you can get him to pull that, that back. He made very clear that he is, uh, this is not a balanced payments loss when he talked to me, but I'll see if I can get him to make that clear publicly. Well, he can, how can, why, how, why isn't it a balanced payments well, loss? Well, he says he's not going to buy the plane. Well, then what does he announce? You better get that announcement. Wait a minute, which number is it? UPI. It's UPI 122. Now, maybe they better get out another announcement then, clarify it for the end of the day, or otherwise I don't see where we're going to be. Yeah, because uh, okay. I, I think you saw you get the memo, right? Yeah, but I'd make it pretty unpleasant with him. Right, or make, right. make it look like everybody over here thinks he gave us a deliberate screwing. Yeah. Okay.